gathering, song number 154, verse 1b, 1b. 1 and 2 and 3b are the traditional verses. O sacred head surrounded by crown of piercing thorn, O bleeding head so wounded, reviled and put to scorn, no comeliness or beauty thy wounded face betrays, yet angel hosts adore thee and tremble as they gaze. Good morning. Morning. This Mass is being streamed live, and for those of you joining us via the internet, welcome. We're glad you could be with us this morning. Today's Mass intentions are for Steve Genovese and for Kathy Heavey, the living. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to, to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask for you, Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion that you may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, the whom I show, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had to toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, Yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sit in the true salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sit in the true salvation. For you are my hope, O oh Lord, my trust, O oh God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. My mouth shall declare your justice. 
day by day, your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and till the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. Thou Prince of Lord of salvation. Your blessing, Father. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Our amen. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to slaughter. Glory to be to the Lord Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss to whom he meant. One of the disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Jesus took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he had said this to him. Some thought that it was since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast or give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I have told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now though you will follow me later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Pray to you, Lord. Before we were born, God chose us. And he knew us from the very beginning. And that's what Isaiah is telling us today. And he was so faithful to listen to God and follow what he instructs you, him to do according to God's will. Today we hear Jesus is now in a very critical situation. You prepare the meal, and among those people who are very close to you, one is going to deny you, and another one is going to betray you. He knew, but still with unconditional love, He extended his love and he invited them for the last supper. My ways are not your ways. Imagine, you know, either your brother or your sister, your neighbor is going to do something to deny you, to betray you, and still you prepare the meal and you share the meal you toss. It's not easy. 
by the grace of God, we can do it as what Jesus is telling us today. But he reminds us that be with me, steady still, be with me, otherwise you will not be strong. The two disciples, they thought they were strong, but they were not strong because they were out of the presence of Jesus. And when you are out of the presence of Jesus, you are not strong, you are vulnerable. And the devil can touch you and he can even pull you wherever he likes. Today, as we are now on this holy week, let us follow Jesus on what he's telling us. We have no difference with Peter and Judah, but he's telling us to listen to him, to follow him, and to be ready to love one another and also to be ready to forgive one another and walk through in our journey of life. Even for those things which we think that we are strong, please check out with the presence of the Holy Spirit. He can give you wisdom and strength to move forward in your journey of life. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we acknowledge that we are weak and we have no difference with Peter and Judah. We deny you and we betray you each day, but you are always so merciful to embrace us and to forgive us, and for this we pray. For us to know that, like Isaiah, we too have been called by God since before our birth to proclaim his good news in the world, we pray to the Lord. For this holy week to be filled with the God's grace and lead each of us to a deeper understanding of the Paschal mystery, we pray to the Lord. For all those who do not know the love of God to experience it through our words and actions, we pray to the Lord. For our Catching Fire youth and volunteers to be the next generation of Christ's disciples in our world, we pray to the Lord. For Ascension's four young people journeying towards full initiation into the church at the Easter Vigil, to be filled with all the grace and the sacraments called, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are suffering from any form of mental, physical, or emotional conditions, to be strengthened by our prayers, we pray to the Lord. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray on these offerings of your family and to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, 
grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, right, and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of the saving passion and glorious resurrection are appropriate approaching by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we appoint us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, Pray throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bill, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Steve Genovese, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in all mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and the honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from it. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, oh, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for even when, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you, Father. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Jim, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. For those who are watching online, also thank you for your prayers and for your participation. I want to give you the task. Do you have anyone from your family, co-workers, neighbor, friend, whom you don't talk with? or whom you have not extended your hand to say, I'm sorry, I forgive you. Take time this day until Easter vigil. Extend. Call him or her. Talk with her with an open heart. And let the Holy Spirit take what you are going to do. He will give you courage, wisdom to approach that person by the grace of God. Easter is all about love. Easter is all about forgiveness. And Easter is all about we are family. And the family that stays together prays together. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks. Please join me singing number 154, O Sacred Head, verse 2b. O love, O love, transcending O wisdom from on high, O truth unchanged, unchanging, surrendered up to die, was there a love so wondrous that from his heavenly throne God should descend among us to suffer for his own. Thank you, everyone. I believe that.